Hey guys and welcome back to Azuru Play's latest mystery journey. Today we're tackling on case 3. A little recap from last episode. So, Katru and co head for the most famous Salvoy Theatre in London's West End for the premiere of Merovic D. Rector's new film, A Naval Advance, No Sub for Love. And who did they spot among the crowd of the cinema goers? But Scotland Yard's famous profiler, Emiliana Perfetti. Okay, and this is where we're at. So, before we even start anything else, let's do a daily puzzle. Um, we're on 11. We're going through these quite well. It's a little warm up before I get into the real puzzles, the real nitty gritty stuff. Um, move the workman around to match all the manhole covers. When he passes over a manhole, he flips the cover so that the opposite side, the opposite design is showing. Okay. When you press one of the directional buttons, the workman will start walking in that direction, but he won't stop until he hits the edge of the work area or a building. Remember, manholes must match. Okay. Um... Oh, it's one of these ones, right? So, they need flipping, or oh, so they obviously look the same. Um, I'm just experimenting. I really don't know which one's the right one. It could be something like this. Alright, there you go. Probably not the most efficient so solution. Conclusion. There probably is something Still a bit better. Layton, of course. But we've got to make sure that Ernest gets his stuff done, right? So that's that done. Right, back to the story. Um, let's interview a few people here first. Um, let's start with. Good evening, Emiliana. Katria, what are you doing here? Ernest here. I want tickets to see some lovely W film or other, so I decided to come along with him. But the question is, what are you doing here, Emiliana? Has there been an incident? No, no, I'm not here on police duty. I've come to see the film as well. Oh, I didn't realise you were a film buff. Well, I wouldn't describe myself as a buff exactly, but I do enjoy the change of pace. Profiling all day demands a huge amount of concentration, but the only people here tonight are either involved in the production, VIPs, or they won tickets like I did. So I presume that means you ended the prize draw as well, didn't you? Ah! Bah bien, see, si, I entered the prize draw. So what? Does that make- that doesn't make me a film buff. I just entered the draw because I felt like it and happened to win. But that's incredible. I mean, it's such a long anticipated release. The competition was fierce, the chances of winning are tiny. I had to enter the draw over 100 times before I won. Well, I entered more than 200. 200? Um, no. I mean, I'm, I, I, I am just a very lucky person, that's all. Uh, what? I see, I understand. Yes, it's all very clear now. You put up a pretense about not really liking films, but the truth is, the truth is you're here for the jewelry and popcorn. What? What possible evidence do you have to support such a claim? I... I don't even like popcorn. You still refuse to admit it? It's not true. Ah, I'm not going to stand here and argue with you all night, Catriel. I'm going in now. Oh yes, so should we? I'll just get our tickets. Ah, yes, hello sir. You're having a good evening, yes? Ha, huh, yes, um, this is rather delicate, sir. Um, you see, yes, I'm afraid that dogs are not permitted in the theatre. Ha, huh, yes. Eh? Ha. Huh. Yes, and you see, this ticket is only valid for two persons. Persons usually pertaining to humans and not canines, yes? Oh, I see. Gosh, Shell. I'm so sorry, it never crossed my mind to buy a ticket for you. Oh, Ernest. You'd forget your head if it wasn't screwed on, wouldn't you? And you wouldn't? Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. I'm afraid you'll have to just wait out here until the film's over, shall? Oh, sure, I'll just hang out on the street like a straight. I didn't even bring my coat. 
It's not even as if I can go back and wait at the, of the office. Wow. <laughs> I'm so sad for the dog that I can't even say it. <laughs> These paws can't open no doors. Fine. All right. I'll just wait here. Just do me a favor and don't watch all the ending credits. Good boy. We'll be back soon. All right, Ernest, shall we? Oh, yes. Ha. Ah, what doggy deity have I upset to deserve this, eh? Hold on, I don't want to go in yet. That's right, I still want to investigate lots. There was something here, no? Was I just imagining things? Ah, the neon lights. London's West End has such energy. Perhaps some taste for neon would be a welcome addition to the sign above the agency door. The sign must be visible from a long way off. It's enormous and covered in lights. Just looking at the sign is a real thrill. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, that guy's a... Uh, that's, that's the mop guy. It's fine, we'll just talk to him in a second. What's this? Yeah, give me a hint coin. Anything else around here? Ooh. It's certainly an impressive place, the Savoy, isn't it? No wonder they call it the heart of cinema. It's such a delight to be able to come to the spiffing theatre with you, miss. I mean, you're on a date, bro. I would be highly, highly, highly thankful if the person that I liked came on a date with me, but it's okay. So we've got a couple of people here. We have Shell here, and then we have the Moped. So we'll talk to Shell. Ah, this is a rough deal. I'm so bored. Come on, Catnist. How long are you going to leave me out here? At least they didn't tie me to a drain pipe. Oh, didn't. Okay, let's talk to the moped. And these ignorant muses call themselves fans. Oh, hello. Are you a Maverick D director fan yourself? That always reminds me of Luffy, um, whatever it is from One Piece. It's really not coming to my brain at the moment. Um, me? Oh, that's really gonna bug me. That's really gonna bug me. I won't be thinking about it till the end of the episode. Me? Ha. Huh. Please, don't sit me on the same stool as the rest of these, open bracket, so-called, close bracket, fans. I'm a cin cineast, not a fan. Sorry? I have seen every single one of Rector's films since his directorial debut, open bracket, including, I might add, everything from the independent years, close bracket. Oh, well, I see. You certainly aren't just a run-of-the-mill fan, that's for sure. Exactly. In fact, I think you'll find Rector's earlier works were discerning pieces of art for the cinematic connoisseur. But, of course, more recently he's gone for the crowd pieces. Still, even in his more... Even in his more saturnine moments, his sublime composition, inevitable sense of style and divine wordplay are present in spades. Of course, I can't comment on this particular film until I've seen it. Will it be his magnum opus or a massive flop? It's interesting to note that that you've been talking for a very long time. Oof! Catriel the Savage. What is the thing here? How interesting! There's a puzzle here by the poster. I expected some t some com. T it's some kind of competition or other run by the theatre, don't you think? I'm not sure that it is actually, well, no sense letting a good puzzle go to waste. Let's go, let's go. First puzzle. Ooh, puzzle 30. Makes me think whether we've missed out any of the puzzles. A princess has been snatched away to the evil's, evil king's castle. A knight has stepped up to rescue her. Unfortunately, the knight's beloved horse is a little skittish. So getting to the castle won't be easy. The horse moves like a knight in chess, in the in the shape of an L. You can jump over anything that is in the way, but you cannot land in squares with trees or poisonous lakes. Press A and hold over the horse to pick up pick it up and move it around the board. Work out a path to the evil king's castle. Okay, fine. Where you at horse? Um, I would say you can go here first, then you go here, then here, 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 bam. This 
is an interesting one. And that's how it's done. No puzzle too difficult for me. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You did it. The princess has been rescued, although your beloved horse seems to have carried her away. Bad luck, brave knight, and keep up. Bad luck, brave knight, and keep up the good fight. See if you can complete the challenge in six steps. There, I solved it now. Um, I was wondering, I was wondering, miss. Perhaps we could go and see a film together again sometime. I mean, just the two of us. The two of what? Sorry, I wasn't listening. Oh, nothing, miss. Um, forget I said anything. Okay, and then we'll talk here. I still can't believe it. Exclusive tickets to the preview of Merrick D. Rector, latest film, and you've won them. You're the best, Benji. No, you're the best, Bess. The best for believing in me and giving me the confidence to enter the prize draw in the first place. Oh, you, you're, you're just the best, and your luck is the best. I'm so proud of you. You know, it's supposed to be the best kiss scene ever at the end of this film. I can't wait. And did you know the Salva is like one of the best cinemas in the whole of London? No porkies. We have to take a photograph outside. Try and stop me. I want to capture every moment we spend together on film. Every single one. Oh, adorable. Right. So, I guess we'll head into the Salvoy Theatre now. This really does look like the West End, not gonna lie. They've done a really good job with replicating the art styles. Does anyone like the West End? Any like musical stuff like that? If you do, is there anything that you've seen? Why do you not like it? I wanna know, let me know. Um, I really like Aladdin. Aladdin from the West End is absolutely amazing. I saw it in London and the actors were phenomenal. Honestly, it was mind blowing. But again, Aladdin is my favorite Disney movie, so I guess I'm a little biased when it comes to that. I can't believe it's upon us. Maverick D. Rector's latest masterpiece awaits. I'm beside myself with anticipation. There. Yeah. I'm beside myself with anticipation. Who says things like that? Oh my god. I'm beside myself with anticipation, Miss Layton. I really am. Ernest, this no sub for love film. It's a romance story, is it? You've only just worked that out? Well, yes, it is a romance, but it's so much more than that, miss. Actually, you can't pigeonhole Rector's work. You can't pigeonhole Rector's work. It transcends genres. Hmm. You see, miss, Rector used to direct cult B movies. He had quite a following of diehard fans even then. I think it must have been his attention to detail. I mean, really, he was a complete perfectionist but he somehow never managed to appear to Joe Public. Then about 10 years ago, he started to move into more mainstream genres, romance stories and so on. That's when he started to become more popular by appealing to a wider audience. Now he's regarded as one of the greatest directors of our time. His films are always highly anticipated. I must say, I've always thought his films were capital. I've been a huge fan even since his, B since his cult B movie days. My all-time favourite has to be Wallow O, the mud-bathing robot hippo on a mudless post-apocalyptic earth. Well that's a mouthful of a title, not gonna lie. I see. You're also a fan of Mr. Rector's films, are you, Emiliana? Well, of course. I think he is a fantastic director, but no, I'm more interested in the actors in this film. Oh, you mean Leonardo DiCamio, the lead? I hear he's ever so popular with the ladies. Well, he's extremely good looking and an ex excellent actor, of course. After all the action roles he's played, I'm dying to see what he's like in a love story. Emiliana, I didn't take you for a lovey-dovey type. How cute! Oh, I, I didn't mean... <laughs> I am not lovey-dovey. No, 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 no. Anyway, when you finish teasing me, look, it seems like the VIP guests have arrived. Oh? Hey, look! Wow! Hello! It's the dragons! Well, London's wealthiest would be to a place like this.
Ooh la 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 la. Every one of them looks very well off. Who are they all? You are very poorly informed, Catriel. Everyone in London knows who they are. They're known as the dragons. The seven dragons of London. Seven dragons? Yes, some of London's wealthiest residents. With years of media, finance, transport. Between them, they can't really control the city's economy. Although some of them do come from wealthy families, it's only been in the last 10 years that they've become so well known. Oh, not very long then, especially in a historic city like London. True, and of course, it's not just people here in London watching them. The whole world's eyes are trained on these seven multi-millionaires. Well, they certainly do sound very influential. You know one of them already. Ah yes, Mayor Lawandia. So she's one of the seven, is she? Oh, we must go and say good day, Miss Layton. Yes, I think there's still time before the film starts. Let's go and say hello. And before we start talking to the mayor, we're gonna cut the episode because it's already been like 20 minutes. So I'm sorry, but I think this is where the millionaire's conspiracy is gonna start. That's exciting. Um, I'm really hyped for it. If you have contributed to the poll that I posted on my Twitter, I really, really appreciate your input and thank you so much for letting me know what outfit to pick. Make sure you like and subscribe and I shall see you all in the next video of Azuru Plays Layton's Mystery. <laughs>